It's time. I hope you're ready. You're gonna climb up this ladder and get popping. Unopened presents are littered across the floor. You, we, we already know who those are about. We're all ready. We're all healed up. Let's go. Let me get that off the screen. We finally made our way out. Oh, what's with all these decorations? Looks like someone is about to get married. Uh oh, the show's about to start. Let's hide. We're just gonna hide in front of some sprout malls like they won't sit here and 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 straight up tell. They will tell on us. Okay. Welcome all, welcome all. Today is a most momentous occasion. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, it is now time to air our final episode. It has been a splendiferous run. I, what? What type of word is that? Splendiferous? What is splendiferous? Whatever. Thank you all for your viewership. For as long as we have been on air, we have rigorously looked for a perfect suitor for our beloved sweetheart. And each time, regretfully, Sweetheart was ain't unable to find her one true love. But this time we believe that we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. The final episode begins now. Let us commence the wedding. Please welcome to the aisle, Sweetheart's perfect suitor. Who's Sweetheart's perfect suitor? Who is it? They put this thing in a cake? Or is it just a cake? Oh no, he's gonna, come, he's gonna pop up a cake. Huh? It's herself. Yes, it's true. Now you've seen everything. The answer has been obvious all along. The only suit, the only suitor magnificent enough for sweetheart is sweetheart herself. I got that. Silence. Uh, oh shit. Okay. <clears throat> Let us begin the ceremony. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> Sweetheart's marrying herself. That's so lame. Don't laugh, Kel. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Now, does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Yeah, I do. Let's get it popping. Speak, speak now or forever hold your peace. I'm about to step out. In that case, by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you... Sweetheart and sweetheart, you may now kiss the. I object. Oh shit! Stop this wedding immediately. What's going on? Hey, wait, Aubrey. What the fuck? Don't do this, sweetheart. This wedding is a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is taking it way too far. Not you again. How dare you step foot back in here? Guards, guards. Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. There's someone out there for you. I know it. Aubrey, what are you doing? She's gonna send us to the dungeon again. Hmm. <laughs> you understand nothing, random hero fan. I was a young princess once. I too thought there was someone for me out there in the universe. But that's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm going to love from now on is myself. Now guards, seize her. 
Um, here I'll. I don't think this is a good idea. Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? Could it be? Hero. My hero has come for me. Uh, oh, my sweet hero. I knew you wouldn't leave me alone like this. How you sway me with your words. Although it may be over between us, my heart has not yet forgotten you. I will give you one last chance. Marry me, hero. Here and now. Do so and I will let you and your fans live. Wait, what? I can't do that. That's crazy. Oh, pain. Oh, shit. What's this? You reject me. Again? But how could this be? I don't understand. Uh-oh. Just bring on the fight. I'm not ready. I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. Here it goes. Here it goes. Yep. She laughing hard as shit. Uh-oh. Now you've done it. Ah, yes. I see everything clearly now. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, hero. I thought you were a worthy companion. But it seems you are jealous of me, just like everyone else. Yes. That must be it. My dazzling looks, my charming smile, my gregarious personality. It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence. Well, there's no need to despair anymore. I will end your suffering. Personally. Ah, oh, shit. Farewell, miserable peons. I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever. Ah, oh, shit. Um. What is this? I don't even know what to do. Alright, I just gotta hit her heavy. I just gotta hit her heavy. We just gotta go crazy. I gotta go crazy. I gotta go crazy. Whoa, 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 hold on. She doing a lot of damage. I got I just gotta go crazy. Okay, Kel, you, oh my god. Um, okay, we're doing damage. I don't know how much damage I just did on that. Uh, I'm gonna stab. Oh, I didn't do no I didn't do enough damage at all. I did nothing. I What did I do? I didn't do shit. I didn't do a single thing. This is this is this is trash. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I need you to make me angrier. Uh skill. Get him back. Okay, she's happy now. Dull attack for only 71. Okay, we need to remove that immediately. That's gotta go. That has to go. Deals damage. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just hack away again. Aubrey? Um... Aubrey just attack like normal. Uh, Kel attack like normal. Skill. We're just gonna remove her emotion. This soundtrack going crazy. Okay, you missed. I'm gonna go crazy now. Yep. Dull attack, bro. This is trash. It's pointless, you fools. You cannot dampen my positive energy. She became happy. Can no longer become sad or angry. It doesn't matter. I can remove. I can remove it. No effect. Wait, what? Oh my lord. Okay. All right. Fine. 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 Just attack her. Annoy me so I can get angry. Uh. 
I actually don't have to do anything here. I'm pretty good. Uh, I'll snack. I'll use um, I use the soda to heal up my juice a little bit. Okay. Now it's time for Furious. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. We good. I'm straight. Dole attack at 106. This is ridiculous. Okay, got my juice back up. Fight. Do a hack. Oh, oh everybody's angry. Wow, okay. Oh. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll just attack. Uh, deal damage to all foes. Oh, let's rebound. Fuck it. I need you to heal me back up. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good at all. They're enraged? What, bro, you dare raise your fist at me? Fools, you should be groveling on your knees. Stab her, just stab her. Ah, uh, shit. Cook for yourself. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me right here. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Okay, she did it anyway. And Kel's dead. I mean, no, Hero's dead. This isn't good. I don't have a normal life gem to get him back up. I don't have a, I have jam packets. That's not gonna work if I only have one of them. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna attack just like normal. Um, you have full health, so you're going to get my heart up. And you're gonna guard. Good hit. Wow. 104. My beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It's a shame that you won't be able to join for much longer. Ecstatic? What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, I gotta I gotta bring him back. I have to bring him back. She's only half heart. She's only half. She's only half down. This is ridiculous. I have to bring him back. I have to bring him back. I have to bring him back. Jam packets. Guard. Everybody guard. Everybody guard. I'll take the hit. Oh, she missed me. They're alive. Oh, they're alive. Oh, my lord. They're alive. Okay. All right. So... All right, here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to attack just like normal. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Heals 100 heart to all friends. Guard. Uh. Oh no. She can't become sad or angry. Okay, I got to I got to get you to become sad. Oh no. Oh no. It hit everybody except me. Oh my lord. Okay. I have to solo her. This is going to be impossible. This is impossible. I have no I have no jam packets. I have to solo her. If I could solo her, I, I would be a god amongst men, but it's not gonna happen. I'll heal up my juice. It missed. Alright, now, now I can go kinda crazy. Hack away. 
It missed again. Oh, oh, that was a big attack. That was good. That was good. I see you are still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. A manic. Oh, no. Hack away again. It whiffed again. Oh my god, can I can I cheese it? Can I get lucky? Can I get lucky? Please let me get lucky. Please let me get please let me get lucky. Please let me get lucky. Please, I'm begging. Let me get my let me get my juice back up. Nope. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I got a snack. I got to get back. Got to get back. I got to get back. Nope, it killed me. Damn it. I almost had it. I almost had it. Whew, I almost had it, bro. That, that, that was almost it. That was almost the run right there. I could have... Uh, I could have... I could have really cheesed that. I might be underleveled here. I just need to go crazy with the with the damage before she gets happy. Aubrey. Draw our attention. She's already... Why is she already happy? I gotta remove that immediately. I have to remove that. I can't do damage when she's happy, bro. Okay. Uh, we're gonna hack away again. Just guard. Everybody guard. Everybody guard. I'll remove the emotion right now. Okay, he's good. Everything's dull. This is okay. This is ridiculous. We're fine. We're fine. Remove the emotion. Good. Good. Now I can... Now I can deal a critical hit. Uh, just attack her normally. Rebound on her. Um, I think you're. I think you're good right now. So what I'll just use you for is. I actually gotta make you. I gotta make you sad, Aubrey. I'm sorry. I need defense from you. Whew. We're good. Okay, now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try something different. Now I'm going to sad poem on myself, make myself sad so I have defense. My attack's gonna be down, but it might be worth it. Don't pass, don't pass. I got this, I got this, I got this, we all right. Pointless, you fools. You cannot dampen him on positive. And here we go. She can't become sad or angry. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. What am I going to do here? What am I going to do here? I... I got I to gotta use... I got to use some sort of... I got to get my juice back. Aubrey, just attack normal. Everybody else attack normal. Nobody's going to die yet. I got two people on defense. She's not doing that much damage, so I should be good. I would like to get to the full 10 so I could do that all out attack. If I could do that, that'd be great. Um, I'm going to use a hack away here. I know I just got the juice back, but I'm going to use a hack away here. 
she's at full health. I'm going to use that to heal myself up. Um, rebound and hero, you guard. Okay, critical hit. Nice. She just killed Kel. Well, damn. I needed him, bro. We, I have the 10 now. Okay, I have to bring him back. I have to bring him back. It's time. Jam packets. Uh, attack is normal. Uh, Coke for Aubrey. Get her health back up. This isn't a good run. This isn't a good run. The, well, at least the jam practice will bring him back. Here we go. 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 I'm going to attack like normal. Snack. Heals 100 hearts to all friends. It's worth it. Kel. You're gonna rebound. Hero. You're gonna attack like normal. It's time. Kel just fucking died again, bro. And Aubrey died too. Wow. Yeah, this isn't a good run. This isn't a good run. I'll kill it off. I can't bring them back. This is not a good run, bro. That first one was much better than this one. This one isn't good at all. Who'd you cook for? You better have cooked for yourself. I know it. Yes. Okay, good. Can I do this with just one person? Maybe, who knows? Oh, here she goes, a static. I'm good, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. I'll hack away. There we go, we're doing some damage, but I don't have my defense now. The best way to do this, I think, if I'm gonna do this with just two people, I need to get, I need to make both of us sad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to remove my own emotion. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, look, angry is gonna do We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, he was 80% of heart, heal him. And then... I need I need juice back. Fucking killed him, bro. Oh my god. I haven't succumbed yet, so I guess that's a good thing. It missed. Alright, I can I can kinda go crazy. Missed whiff. We do two damage here. Okay. Now, let's do a hack away. This isn't going to work. I know it's not going to work. She's not going to keep missing forever. I need to make myself sad right now. Let me get my defense all the way up. See? Yep, there she goes. Okay. Let me do it one more time. She whiffed. Depressed. I'm not going to be doing any good damage here. I know I'm not. She only did 12 damage that time. 
but I'm not going to be doing any damage at all. Oh, nah, that's not that bad. I can still do something with that. See, so you're still standing. Here we go. Manic. I'm still alive, though. I still have snacks. Heal myself with the nachos. She only did 19 damage. We're good. Nachos got me back up. Can I, do I have anything else for juice? I have one more thing for juice. So for now, I'll just attack. 38 damage. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Double attack. Am I going to get this done? Am I going to get this done? If she doesn't hit me for 80, I'm good. She only hit me for 19. Am I going to get this done? I'm going to risk it one more time. One more time. It whiffed. It whiffed. A free attack. Okay, now it's time. Use that tomato. It's time. 27 damage. We're good. We're good. Tomato's gonna get us back. Full health. 50, 50 juice. Oh, yeah. 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 Hack away. Whiff attack. Oh, my God. This could be it. This could be the run. A solo. Can I solo her? Can I solo her? 19? This could be it! I don't have enough juice! Okay, just attack her. She whiffed! She whiffed! Double attack! This could be it! I don't have anything left! She whiffed again! Let's fucking go! I soloed her. I soloed her myself. Ah-ha-ha. Ah-ha-ha. Ha. I soloed her, nigga. Is this what they call defeat? Yeah. Yeah. I cannot accept this. No, you gonna have to. That's crazy. That's wild. I got a solo. I soloed her. That is insane. That is insane. Solo battles. How could this be? You, you're all nothing. How dare you defy me? Throw them in the dungeon. Guards. Guards? Yeah, they're not trying to do that. It's over, sweetheart. The wedding is canceled. <laughs> no, I cannot accept this. Just leave me alone. What the fuck was that? My boy. That's my boy, huh? That's, that's my boy, Captain Space Boy. Space Boyfriend coming in. Yup. That's my guy. That's my guy. Let's go. My sweetheart. Oh, my sweetheart. I am so relieved that I made it in time. You must stop this madness at once. Captain Space Boy? You. You idiot! I thought I told you to never show your face in front of me again. Oh, sweetheart. My sweetheart. My sweet jelly-filled donut. Please look into your heart and give me another chance. I should have not kept you. Waiting all those days. You. What are you doing? I'm sorry I didn't do this sooner. Hey, marry me, sweetheart, right here on this very stage. Are we sitting down? Oh my, this this is all so sudden. How, 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 how romantic. Sprout Mo Mike, I order you to marry us immediately. Yes, at once, my liege. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Oh, forget the formalities, Mike. The love, true love cannot wait. Yes, my princess. Ahem. 
By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you sweetheart in space husband. You may now kiss the bride. Damn, that shit lewd. They put a black bar over that. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Let us travel the universe together and leave all this behind. Yes, yes, my husband. I will go anywhere as long as it is with you. Let us take my leave, my sweetheart. We have been apart for much too long. Come, my ship awaits. Yes, of course, my dear. But first, there is one last thing I must do. Sprout my mic, hand me the button. At once, my queen. What the fuck is the button? I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of shocked that I soloed this. Like, this is crazy to me. We won't need this anymore. She just blew up the stage. What the fuck? I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come, my queen, our chariot awaits. We just gonna sit in a chair and just watch them leave like this? Alright, fuck it. I'm cool with this. Bye, guys. Oh, they left my boy. They left my boy Mike. Damn. I thought he was going with them. It's low key kind of lonely. You just gonna walk so much for a happy ending. I don't think that's gonna end well at all. Yeah. I guess this is a complete waste of time. Your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow up moves improved. Nice. Hey, what happened to that book? Wow. I left everybody else at level 16. I'm now at 18. That's kind of... I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I should have waited. Actually, I don't need any of this. All right, let's get out of here. Where are we going? Hello? What is this? Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. No. Stop that. I don't like the I don't like this at all. Eyes, I hate eyes. Why am I stuck? I'm literally stuck. I can't move. I can't fucking move. What is this? Oh wow, it's Basil Shadow. Into the what? I don't like this, bro. What the fuck? What's the matter, Amori? Is there something wrong? Yeah, bro, my, my, I, I have a mental illness. My fucking body is shaking. I don't know what's going on with me. I need help. Okay, I guess I can just leave. Goodbye. I, my love, sweetheart, so much so that I've acquired tickets to the most prestigious sweetheart quest for a hearts event. Although I was unable to obtain an ultra rare impossible to obtain front row ticket, my reputable salesman has assured me that my ticket will still see me in a prime location. He has also assured me that event will start very soon, so I've been waiting here in line for many, many hours. Uh, I wonder if we should tell him? I'm sure that any moment the event will begin and I will be guided to my seat by another, none other than Sweetheart herself. Now. As I am the truest sweetheart fan, I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful... What's this? It's... missing? No, my most precious thing. I will not be able to attend my dream event without it. You four. Since you are undoubtedly less of sweetheart fans, I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me. You'll know it when you see it. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just not gonna do that. Hey, Mari. The face is usual, I see. No, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and save first. Big save, yeah. We're gonna eat these tomatoes. And then we're gonna get the fuck up out of here. Because we don't need to be here anymore. Sick. Alright. Bye. 
We're going back above ground. Wait, what, what else am I supposed to do? I feel like I'm not supposed to come this way. I feel like I'm actually supposed to go like into the hole or something. It had me face there for a reason. I'm going to assume it wants me to go here. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. Do a swan. Oh my god. All four of you jumped? Wait, I'm not gonna float up? You just gonna let me fall by myself? Uh, uh, bye, guys, I guess. What the fuck? They just gonna let me jump by myself, bro? Where in the fuck am I? I don't like it. Where am I? I hate this already. Bro, fuck out of here. Fuck off. What is a book? You found a book of interest. Yeah, let's read an excerpt. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach after all, and everyone was exhausted was the first to nod off than the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Square's head accidentally dropped onto Square, 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 Square's shoulder. The sun joke awaits him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and a slight tinge of pain on his nose from the tomorrow sunburn. He is happy, very, very happy. He makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. That sounded like some, like some. A white egret orchard in the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Somebody said something about the vines. I can't do anything with these vines, so it must not have been these vines that they were talking about. Is there anything over here? Just another orchid. Uh, okay. Bro, fuck off with this. I said fuck off. Okay, there seems to be a lot of books and stuff you can read in here. So I'm gonna read these passages. Here we go. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above, it is none other than whatever holding a juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle, and what seems like less than a second, whatever disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way across through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. Whatever's face turns red and yells for whatever, but whatever is already long gone. Whatever hands whatever some wet, wet paper towels. It looks like there's the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet's gonna stain. They'll have to deal with whatever later. So far, I'm starting to think. I've read two excerpts, and both of them sound like they could be about Hero. Let me just get through here. And read this one too. Yes. It was a hot summer day, and whatever. And all whatever could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to whatever and whatever's work. All day, whatever watched whatever lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched whatever hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour had passed since whatever had climbed down her ladder. I will just be their moral support, whatever thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Whatever knows this and agrees, but reluctantly. He slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put it in his fair share. It just had to be on this hottest day of summer. This is some elite storytelling. 
elite storytelling. What the fuck? Who was that? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Why was it black and white, bro? Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I need help. I need help. Is this the same thing? Yeah. Okay, there's another excerpt. Let's read this. <sighs> this year, whatever was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, whatever would gaze listlessly through the opening. At the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere. Into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Shea was the same as any other. Whatever stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slapped his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Whatever looks away from the opening. Whatever smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today. And they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Whatever stomachs growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have continued. He would have to continue his adventure another day. Fuck off. There's an excerpt. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made it, its engravings ineligible. Illegible. Wow, I fucked that word up. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. I'm going to assume this is Hero. Hero jumps first, then Kel. Then Hero again, then Kel again. The brothers gratefully urge someone to join them and after careful thought someone rarely agrees someone shuffles up to the statue and looks down at the moving water you can hear his heartbeat his ears begin to ring his legs feel as if they, if they would give out at any time he tries to focus on his breathing he feels something crawling on his shoulder and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider in an instant whatever someone loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Oh, this is a this is a more this is Sunny. But that is what he believes. Sunny shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. This is Sunny. That that one was about uh, Hero and Kel. They urge Sunny to take a dip with them, but Sunny can't swim. That's why he has a that's why I'm fear of drowning. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of fucking trees now. Okay. What in the hell? Why is shit, shit is shining? I don't like that. Why is shit shining? Oh, it's an L key. I almost missed this. So many keys left. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole? Yeah. Let's look. Don't forget it's in the toy box. I didn't go read that last passage. Fuck. I should have read the passage first. All right. Well, we got to get up out of here. Go ahead and do your thing. Out. All right. It's sunny time. Be back in the real world. Two days left until moving day. Made some pretty good progress today. Wake up, sleepyhead. Bro, chill out. You have a new message. Hey, Ren. It's Mommy. 
Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't even... I don't think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's alright. I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll probably just throw it away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Alright. Bro, Kel, stop knocking at my door like this, bro. Relax. Bro, you're doing too much. Stop it. Hello? Hello? Ren, are you there? Relax, bro. I know I called him Ren, but his real name is Sonny, so I think I'm going to start using Sonny. Just, in, just when I talk. What would you like to do? I'm going to open the door, of course. My boy Kel is waiting for me. It's time for adventures. What's up, dude? Hi. Hi, Sonny. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Well, more like noon, actually. It turns out Hero's not coming back until dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Do you want to come along, Ren? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. Alright, well... You didn't even fucking ask if I wanted... Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You didn't even fucking ask if I wanted to come. You just said, I'm gonna come. Kel smells. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it, it must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. Ren, be honest, do I smell? Wait, hold up, Ren. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but not my, now might not be a good time. Okay, well, fuck. What do you want me to do? Alright, let's go to Fairway Plaza and shop for whatever the fuck we're supposed to be shopping for. I, I don't know what it is, but we got this, right? Alright, nobody's at the park. We chilling. Let's get moving. Fairway Plaza. We on our way. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the Bakery and Other Mart. Eat the way, Ren. Okay, Gino's Pizza first. Hey. Uh. Alright, this is really fucking awkward. Gino's Pizza is the bomb. This is one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking cheese pizza, just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So, Munch. We're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. Made it myself out of a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it will work, Charlie? Huh. So, we're going to our secret hangout spot. That's a perfect day spot. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming. Sounds pretty fun. Well, while you're all fooling around being babies, I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect rocks all week. <laughs> you try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Michael. Like any girl that actually wanna go to the lake with you without paying them. I told you to call me them. I bit my tongue. What a loser. Master, are you hurt? You pay for this game. <laughs> Bro, this is fucking awkward. I just need to go up here and get my fucking shit. Hello, and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But <laughs> on the menu, <laughs> the fucking face he's making is killing me. It's on the menu, isn't it? Mm, yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. But this is so fucking awkward, you know? I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You'd think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something. But no. He just really likes sandwiches. 
Okay, here's your hero sandwich. Please enjoy. Got Kel's pizza order. Sick. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Ren. I'm ready when you are. Now we just need to get the cookies from the bakery and other mart. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave. Fuck all that. Fuck dealing with whatever that fucking headache was. I'm good. I don't care if there's extra dialogue or not. That is not a headache I'm willing to deal with. Cookies. Where the fuck am I gonna get the cookies from? Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. Where the fuck is the bakery? Bro, I'm getting lost. No. Welcome to the bread bank. We sell bread. We sell loaves. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hiya, uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Mm. Ah, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming. Though I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. It don't matter when I get here. Did you know? This bakery belongs to Michael's family. I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. <laughs> Bro, that fucking face is destroying me every single time. Here's your order, sir. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. Got Kel's bakery order. Sick. Cool, thanks. Alright, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Okay, let's get the fuck up out of here. I ain't got nothing else. We moving. We schmoving. We booming. We booming, thooming, schmooming. Alright, what the fuck are we doing? Baked goods? Check. Sandwiches? Check. Well, that's everything. Just in time, too. Looks like the sun is about to set. Let's go back to my house. Yours should be coming any time now. Alright, well... I know that's Aubrey's bike. I'm trying to steal that shit, low-key. Fuck her. Fuck, fuck present Aubrey. Present Aubrey be pissing me off. Is there anything up here in the park that I need to... No? Okay, bet. We out of here. Back to the crib. Back to the crib. Welcome to the bread bank. We sell bread. We sell loaves. We got bread on deck. Bread on the flow. Toasted. Bro, before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff, and well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. So, I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you first and get all excited, and most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See, it's a win-win for everyone. Heh <laughs> heh. Got it? Okay, let's go. Uh, well, alright. Look at the sign me up for slot. Wow, damn, I just walked in this bitch. Mom, Ren's here. Sonny's here. Fuck is that? What took you so long? <laughs> I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Sunny? It must be. So good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. Give the bakery order and pizza order to Kel's mom. Sick. Hur hurry, Sunny, let's go up to the from my bedroom. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's done. Hey, good shit. We out of here. Which one is your bedroom, bro? I have no idea. Think you can go hold it? Oh, it's the bathroom. Let's get in here. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boom box, just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. Hey. Hey. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Hey. Mom won't let me play it too loud, though, because she said it's bad for Sally. Fuck is Sally. Oh, wait. You haven't met Sally yet, huh? <laughs> Guess what? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. Huh? My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. Heh <laughs> Kel, there's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Huh? I wonder who that could be. That shit was hidden. I kind of want to go back. I know we got to go visit the front door, but who the fuck is this? Oh. Hi. Hey, Kel. Hey, Ren. Sorry for intruding. Okay, I said it was Sunny, but I'm just gonna use Ren. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. Thought he might be with you. Basil? 
Mm, no, sorry. We haven't seen him all day. Oh, it's okay. I'm I'm sure it's hungry eventually. He ran off early and hasn't come back yet. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Uh, that's not good. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this, especially with Aubrey and the scooter gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. <sighs> okay, just make sure to be home by dinner. Alright, let's get the fuck on. We gotta go look for my boy. I'm gonna check the park first because if, if they tripping, who tripping? Wait! Wait, there is something I remember I need to I remember to do. Hold on. Hold on, there's one thing I need to do. We're gonna go back in this we're gonna go back in the crib real quick. There was something I need to grab. There's a case. Fancy purse, look inside, yep. What did you get my mom's bag for? You found pepper spray. Yeah, we need that. Just in case. Whoa, my mom's had pepper spray? That could come in handy if you run into any trouble. Good thinking. I'm sorry, I got spoiled. I saw that shit. I needed it. Just in case anything goes down. Because I ain't got nothing else. Buddy took my fucking knife. I can't slash at anybody. <sighs> okay. We go into the park first to check if anybody tripping. Who tripping? Who in here tripping? Nobody tripping? Y'all not over here tripping? Are y'all running basketball drills? Where the ball at? Okay, whatever. Or is it skating? Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, nobody tripping over here. Doesn't look like nobody tripping, so we moving this way. We moving. Who tripping up here? Up, oh, the scooters are gone. Yep, they they definitely tripping on my boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go sort them out. I'm gonna sort them out. Oh, I can't do shit. Wow, okay, we can't go this way. Alright. <clears throat> Who tripping? Who tripping on my boys? Y'all can get handled. If I if I remember clearly, yeah, this isn't a place I can even go. So um I guess what we're gonna go do is go down here. Yep, we're gonna go down here. And we're gonna cross this we're gonna go this way. Who tripping? Who tripping? I'm over here ready. I, I'll fight for it. Uh, roads closed. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Okay. Uh, I guess we're going this way. We gotta go look for him. Yo, Kel, you couldn't be like a fourth wall breaker right now and just give me a hint? My, like, my God, I'm over here just... Yeah, that brother's starving right now. Like, I ain't got no leads. Okay, we're going this way. That's Basil's house. I think. No response. All right, bet. So we're going this way. What the fuck is that? My dog, Lucius, ran out. Okay, um, okay, I can't go this way either. Bro, who tripping? I, I thought somebody was tripping. I gotta find my boy Basil, bro. I don't like what's going on. Okay, we just gonna go this way then. Are there some fucking bananas? I, you lied to me. I see the bananas right there. Okay, we're going this way. She got quiet. What's going on? I've been getting a strange feeling from the cemetery here all day today. Cemetery? 
Cemetery? What you mean? Oh, wow. What in the fuck? Oh. It's glowing. Our dearest Mari. Damn, she really is dead. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Mari. Feels like so long ago already. I still think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too. You know, when Mari passed away, Hiro, Hiro really stopped caring about everything. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and Dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him be supportive, but nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was all huddled in his blankets and started saying stuff. Stuff like how we all miss him. Now we all want him to get better. Everyone was really worried. Amari wouldn't want him to seem like this. I thought I was helping him, but... Hero. Hero got angry. He suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful, too. But I think I blocked out of a lot of it. His eyes were already super red. But the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down, but whatever I said just made him worse. I'd never seen Hero do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise. And I was so scared that, well, I started crying too. Eventually, Mom and Dad ran into our room and rushed over to hug him and calm him down. But they completely ignored me. <laughs> I think that's where Hero got his senses back because he ran to me and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But at least Hero got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more. And joining a bunch of extracurricular stuff. He's naturally good at everything, but he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. I guess he's a little more closed off now than he used to be, but I'm really just glad to have my brother back. Anyway, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but I still think Hero blames himself for Mari's death. He was never visited here, not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him. I don't know. <sighs> damn. That, damn, that just tore me to shred. Damn, bro. I'm hurting. Okay, now what? Alright, I got to visit the grave, which was really good, but at the same time, the fuck am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to look? I can't think of any other place I can look. Unless there's some... There's gotta be a deeper spot in Fairway Park. There's gotta be. There's no way there isn't. I don't think anywhere else has somewhere that I can go, so it's gotta be Fairway Park. That I'm, I must be whiffing on something. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in there again. I'm gonna go deep, see if I can find something. Hmm, could Basil be somewhere in Fairway Park? Why did this not tag the first time? I was in here. I came straight here. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna save here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody help. Ah, oh, shit. Ren, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me, please. Where's his voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from an old hangout spot. The entrance should still be somewhere around here. Come the fuck on. What is up with this? Help me. Somebody. God damn it. What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil. Be quiet. Someone's going to find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want to get you out of here. Hey, stop it. What are you doing to Basil? What the... Kellen ran again. Why do you always show up? 
How did you even find this place? Come on, now. we've got to defend our turf. Aubrey? Go away, Kill. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now. Well, this used to be our old hangout spot, wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? Telling the truth. Stop being a, such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. That sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. Aubrey, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, let's settle this, Kel. If you are really gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach him a lesson. Bro, six versus two? Bro, I'm about to fucking use this pepper spray. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Ow. Take this fucking ball. Five hundred. Uh, my eyes, master. I can't see. Uh, wait, what trigger is this? How that hurts? What the fuck is this? Pepper spray? Really? Uh, you two are the worst. Bro, you have a you have a bat with nails in it. You have a bat with nails in it. No, this can't be happening. How could we lose to just the two of them? Doesn't even make sense. Uh, pepper spray is goaded. Sorry, I want to go home. Let's just get out of here. You said it. Yeah, y'all get on your scooters and get the fuck up out of here. Yes, sir. Ah ha ha, y'all pussy. Look at y'all running, pussy. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later then. Why is she shaking like that? Stop it. Oh, she's mad. What the fuck? Ugh. What the fuck? Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Ren, why? Why'd you show up now? just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You two used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? Wait, what the fuck? And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? Aubrey, I... Get away from me. Hello, what? Hello, what? What? Shoot. What? Bro, what the fuck? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean to. Ren, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. Yes, I want to save Basil. What the fuck? Did I save him? Did I save him? I don't like how it's black screen. Like, what in the fuck? Okay. Oh, no. 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 Don't want this. Can I go back upstairs? Oh, my God. The soundtrack. I know you... I know y'all can hear it. Oh my goodness. Can I can I leave now? This is really fucking ah, uh, this is killing me. Bro, she really pushed my nigga Basil on the pool. I'm, I'm not fucking with that. I, I'm just walking into the... What the fuck? What? 
What is this? What? Stop it. I don't like it. Something drags you down. Uh. 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 Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We good. We good. We straight. We straight. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Attack it. It did. Diddly squat. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Focus. Focus. Alright, we're focused. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. You reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Persist. We're good. Keep pushing. Fight through the pain. Fight through whatever this shit is. I guess I just gotta keep persisting. Yeah, I gotta keep persisting. Okay. Let's do that again. Let's do that then. Just persist. Is that? I think that, yes it is. My boy! My boy! Yes sir! The GOAT! Hero back! Hero bike, nigga! Ah, right, let's go! Arby, what the fuck, bro? Hmm. Looks like Basil's breathing is steady, but we need to get him somewhere warm, quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait. Where do you think you're all going? That's enough. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys. We gotta go. Damn. Okay, I'm not even allowed to talk to Aubrey. I just gotta leave her alone. Let's, let's wait. Fuck. Let's get back to the crib. She really pushed my nigga in there, bro. That's grimy. I forgot where this nigga house is already. Fuck. Where is where is this nigga's house at? I think it's this way. I'm gonna I'm gonna get. Nope. I I fucked. See, fucked up. Didn't even know where. I don't know where his house is. It's this way. There it is. Basil. What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes in a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Ew, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. I want to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I know this is going to be a big file, guys. I'm sorry, but I got to keep going. This is this got me hooked. Hey, Kel. Hey, Ren. Looks like Basil is going to be just fine. I heard from mom that Basil was missing and that you two went looking for him. 
when I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. Guess I got out there right in the nick of time. So what was happening back there? Aubrey, she pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way, she wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, hero. She becomes all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey, what happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault that this happened. This could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. You know, Ren, you were pretty awesome back there, jumping in the lake to save Basil like that. Even if Hero ends up saving him today, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Hell yeah, I want a high five. What the fuck? High fives are cool as shit. Alright, let's go home. Y'all won't let me stay over for dinner, right? Because I'm for sure trying to eat whatever the fuck y'all got cooking up. I am sensing an evil presence coming from inside my home. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I can never be too careful. Uh, yeah, fuck you, bro. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going this way. Yay, I can come over for dinner. Nice. Kel, Hero, where have you two been? It's so late, I'm worried you sick. Sorry, Mom, he got held up. But the good news is we found Basil, and he's safe. Hmm. Now, have you know, I spent all week preparing the chicken rolls for tonight's dinner. And it's gotten cold. Oh, Mom, please don't cry. Don't worry, Mom, that's what microwaves are for. Oh, my poor dinner. There, there, honey, cheer up. Today's a special day, there's no need to be sad. Look, he was back from college. Good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad is right. There's no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, hero. We've all missed you so much. What the fuck? What? What? It sounds like Sally is awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go and help yourselves to dinner. I'm with that. Cool, let's go grab some food and heat it up. Oh, I'm with that shit. Hell yeah, I am with that. I like how I can't tag. Y'all be y'all bummy. You got a home cooked meal, but it's cold. You can heat it up using the microwave. All right, let's go do that then. About to heat this bitch up. Yeah. Now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. So good to see you again, Ren. Really has been way too long. Oh, it's good to see you two again. Well, Ren, I heard from Mom that you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's going to be his last day with us. Moving well, we might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it would be good for you, Ren. You've learned a lot moving to a new place. It's nice to have a fresh start. A little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. Be sure to have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. Went to the park, the lake, the beach. But honestly, what I miss the most is hanging out at your place, man. You guys had everything. The big TV, all the newest toys, the grand piano. And of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome. Wonder if it's still there. Is it, Ren? Looks like the food's done. Let's eat in the living room. We can continue chatting there. I can't move. Okay, there we go. I'm fucking with this. By the way, hero, Basil gave Rain his photo album yesterday. Do you want to see it? You have Basil's photo album on you? Sure, let's look through the album while we eat dinner. Um, I'm already hating this. Pain. My first photo. 
It's my best friend, Ren. Trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. Ah, so exciting. Just Kelby and Kel. So, many party hats. Ren playing a video game on the couch. Ren's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him to, when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof, sorry Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing the Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks a little annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Are you showing Ren a book I've been reading? Mari stole my camera and took this one I wasn't paying attention. Should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Ren's stuffed animals. He has so many and they're all so soft. Wish I could just lay here forever. Mari's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Ren and Kel holding Mari's example. That's perfect, doesn't it? Only Mari thought so too. He was still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with a new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. Look at me, drip, big drip. Look at my, ugh, I got drip. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Hobby's favorite. Kel cooling off with some freshening orange gel. I shouldn't get too close, so he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. We buried Ren in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's gonna need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. I look so fucking cozy here. Yay, Ren is turning 12 today. Even though me, Ren, and Aubrey and Kel are in the same school year. Ren is younger than all of us. Damn, I really am the baby. That's trash. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Ren holding a super huge present from Mari and Hero. I wonder what it is. Can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hero got Ren a giant building block set. Ren seems much more interested in the box, though. He just acts like he acts just like Mari's new kid, Miwu. Ren won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Men and Rio's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Ren is there too. He's kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today. Me and Ren and Kel and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey's so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Yeah, I'm done. Too bad that some of the photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil. We got it right back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah. It's just that, well, Mari isn't in any, isn't any, isn't in any of these photos. Yeah, she was. What the fuck? Oh, you're right. She doesn't. <sighs> Still, this album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids. Ren, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? Well, that's a good idea. But you gotta convince mom first. She's probably gonna be kind of mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. What a mess that was. I only made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. Hey there, Sally. Peekaboo. Aw, oh, shit. Stop it, Kelly. You're scaring her. 
<clears throat> so, uh, hey, mom, we were wondering if we can go hang out at Ren's house today since he's moving away soon. Oh? But you just came back. It's already so late. What about spending time with your mom? I'm gonna be here for the rest of summer, and Ren is leaving the day after tomorrow. We have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for here to spend some time with Kelly and Ren. I haven't seen Ren around for a long time now. It's been a while since the boys have had the chance to hang out. I say we should let them. Sorry. Fine, then. You boys can have your fun. But Hiro has to wash the dishes from you for the next week. Sure. I guess I can do that. <laughs> Alright. You're free to go. Come on, Sally. Let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? No, Mom. Alright, let's get moving. To the crib. To the big cribbo. Hey, so I'm really glad we get to hang out and everything, but I also feel pretty bad for leaving Mom alone. Before we head to your house, let's go to fix and get some flowers for her. I know she really appreciate that. Oh, hero, always a mama's boy. Where the fuck is Fix It? I'm gonna assume Fix It is this way back at the back at the faraway plaza. Bro, you're in the way. Come the fuck on. <laughs> Bro. The T fell off the door. Okay. Hey. Welcome to Fix It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What can I interest you in? Before I forget, Ren, here's some money from my mom's flowers. You didn't think I would let you pay for it, did you? Wow. Ten dollars for flowers. Alright, sick. We got here. Mom's gonna love these flowers. Let's drop them off in my place, Ren. Alright. I mean, this is kind of pointless. Well, no it wasn't. No it wasn't. Buying flowers is cool this fucking weirdo just walking back and forth pacing to himself bro you're still in the way come the fuck on mm -hmm. that nigga maverick's still standing in the fucking driveway you're weird buddy <sighs> hmm Looks like it's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. That sound good to you? The fuck am I dropping these shits off? Before we go, we should give these flowers some more. Okay. So I gotta actually go up there and give these shits to her. Hey mom, I got you some flowers. Oh, are these for me? They're beautiful. Thank you. Ha! <laughs> Hero, you're such a charmer. Just like your old man. Sorry for overreacting earlier. I know Ren is moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure you will be. Take care, Ren. Know that you'll always have a home here. All right, let's go to the crib, boys. We about to we about to party hard. God damn, it's nighttime. God damn. Wow, it just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Let's go inside. After you run. Okay, I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit the save first, just just in case some shit goes down. No, I don't like when shit goes down. Let's go. Dark as fuck in here. Can we turn some lights on? Whoa, this place is cleared out, Ren. This feels a lot bigger now that nothing's here. There used to be a couch where we watch TV. Come here every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. 
Yeah, and this is the stain from the one time I spilled my orange gel. Orange got so mad at me. Well, that's because her cap stepped in and walked over the house. Oh, yeah, uh huh. Oh, man. Looks like it's getting too dark to go see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Wait, I have an idea. What if we just stay over for the night? It's going to be our last time in this house forever, right? And when will it be the next time we spend the night we're in like this? I'd love to, but Mom's not going to be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because of Sally's crying anyway. You're going to wash the dishes with Mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that's true. We'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so we'll only be a walk away. So we just going to go upstairs. I remember this hallway. The closet was to the left. The piano room was to the right. I wonder if the piano's still there. I'll go on ahead and see. See, now I want to see. You know, it's still there. Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. This nigga started playing perfect music, said, Don't judge me. Fuck out of here. I'm sick. That was crazy. Show off. I guess I still got it. That reminds me. Do you still play the violin? Oh, it's not here. Guess you already packed it up. It was a song you used to play with Mari. I guess it still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. Two would play it over and over. You'd even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it again? The word Amori is that's across the center. I'm glad that someone's been taking care of Mari's piano. There's been any dust here at all. Come here, still remembers how to play all good and stuff. I can barely even read sheet music anymore. Man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyway. So where should we sleep, Ren? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. We can sleep on the floor if anything. Let's go find some blankets. I want to kill away from me. I don't know if y'all can hear this because I got that audio super low, but my lord. That was beautiful. That was fucking beautiful. Not even on cap. That was beautiful. What in the fuck is this? Hey, Ren, we built a bed for it. I hope you don't mind. This is all Kel's idea. I had nothing to do with it. By the way, Hero, Ren and I got you a gift. Kel gave Hero's gift to Hero. It's Papa's chip off the old block cookbook. Do you remember this? Of course I do. Man, I remember when I wanted to be a cook. It seems so silly now. Hey, you were pretty good at it. You can still be a cook, Hero. Ah, uh, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But, you really like to cook, don't you? And people have to eat, right? So, like, why not? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Kel. Kel just fucking fell asleep. Wow. He's such a fast sleeper. Always been that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over and run. Bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Mari. Sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now, but it seems like you've pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. To be honest, it's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here too. Anyway, sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to sleep soon too. 
Good night, Ren. I'll talk to you in the morning. Let's sleep. That was some that was some good heartwarming shit at the end. That was a good heartwarming shit at the end. What the fuck? Why did my nigga just disappear? That's a cute picture. And we're back. <sighs> Why are my friends not here? Where are y'all at? My friends are gone. Everybody's gone. I'm going to just go ahead and save. I'm scared. I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to go ahead and save here. And we uh, will be back in the next episode. Damn, it's starting to get really heavy. I I can't keep taking breaks like this, though. We have to keep going. Anyway, um, that's been it for this video. I have nothing else to say. Y'all take it easy, and I'll see you on the next one, all right? Y'all be...